Hello everybody, SoCal Thero here. Welcome back to another episode of Firefighter Simulator. Today's episode I'm hoping will be the, well I'm not hoping, I mean I hope they add to the game, but I'm hoping we get to the last mission on this episode. So we have two left. We have this one we just unlocked from our last episode, which is Times Are Challenging, which looks like another house fire. And then we have one more here, and then that will be it for uh, missions that come with the original game. So I've pretty much recorded every single mission other than one of the smaller missions. And uh, I guess you could kind of use it as a tutorial if you want, if you're kind of stuck on something or not sure how to uh, tax a certain situation. I'll definitely have this entire series in its own playlist to make it easy for you guys that want to watch it. But um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do th this mission right now. Based on my XP that I have right now, I should be good to do this one. And if I get medium, I should still unlock the last one. I believe so anyway. So we'll see how, uh, we'll see how we do here. So it looks like it's a house fire too, from what I saw in the picture. All right. So we do have a house fire. The fire is spreading. There is, I'm almost gonna hit that truck. I didn't wanna hit the truck. Um, the fire is spreading and they don't know if there's anybody inside right now. Luckily we're just under, well, yeah, now we're just under a thousand meters out from this. So it's not too far away. I'm trying to pass up the other truck though right now to get to it. He's pushing me though. Yeah, we're getting pushed. I was trying to get around him, but he kept pushing me. That's why we kind of came to a stop there. <laughs> I shouldn't have tried to pass him. This is probably where I should have tried to pass him, but I'm trying to get that fast response time too. So, looks like it's just gonna be this corner and possibly one more corner and we'll be there. All kinds of body roll. Alright, so we're coming into the neighborhood right now. I need this red car to move or do something. Okay, he's gonna pull over. Appreciate you. I somehow have lost the other truck. I don't know how that happened. He was behind me just a second ago. Oh, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Okay, electrical fires means I need to get out and get to work here. Alright, let's get the supply hose going. Oh, he's doing it too. Okay, I guess he's got it. I'll let him go to work. Oh, there's a dog barking. Attack line ready to go, boss. Alright. Go ahead and make our way into here. All right, so we're gonna get him going. Number two's done with this 360 check. All right, supply line is good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my flashlight. All right. Oh, I gotta breach this door. Actually, no, uh, it's not. It's nothing there, so I might be able to breach it and be okay. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, we're good here. Um, number three, come and get this person. Because he's taking forever to get that, uh, attack line. Alright, number two's done with that victim. Oh, okay. Uh, we need number one over here. Number three, go ahead and cancel what you're doing. Go ahead and get the, uh, attack line. Oh, okay, he's actually gonna still take him either way. Uh, number two, go ahead and get you an attack line going. All right, so number two is getting the attack line going. This room is not going to be savable at this time. I'm going to go ahead and uh, close that up. I'm trying to get to somebody that's trapped on the other side there. All right, this is good. See if I could get to this. Oops. All right, cool. I'm trying to find a way to get to him. Got you back, boss. 
Alright, number three, go ahead and get... Yep, go ahead and get that uh, attack line going. I didn't want to have to do the attack line, but it's... I don't think I have a choice. Uh, and I need to break this. Uh, number two, you're here. Number three, you're here. Alright, we're going to get them in. Still trying to find a way to get to that... Uh, that other person. It's gonna be kind of tough. I don't know if I can or not. Oh! Yep, that's uh, there's a fire in there too. Yep, you guys go to work in here. I can't get there, boss. Why are you guys not spraying? Spray already. Alright, I gotta figure out a way to get to that person. What are you doing? No, come here. Yes, You're working in here. Alright, how are we looking in here? Okay. I can get to the victim now. Let me get them. Alright, let's get low. Let's get away. So, number one's got that taken care of. Number two and three are working in there on that fire. Actually, it's in here. How are you guys doing in there? What are you doing? He's totally lost. Okay. Yeah, get it. And then get in here. Yep, go take care of the fire. We'll help out number two. I didn't see the uh, fuse box to prevent the, uh, the spread of the fire, so I'm going to have to go look for that. Even though I got this victim out. Okay. So they're going to be working on the fires. I'm looking for... Look at this idiot again. Still... What an idiot. Okay. Well, just keep being stupid then. Uh, nothing over here. I'm looking for the fuse box. I don't see anything outside. Yeah, maybe at some point he'll get the... Let me... There. Get a fire extinguisher. Let's help you out here. Because you're obviously not smart enough to figure it out. <laughs> hey, I'm burning. Alright, yeah. No, now I need you to do the fire hose. Get that attack line going. Man, I am not seeing a fuse box anywhere. Is that a dog? Is there a dog in there somewhere? Well, since I can't find a fuse box for now, might as well start breaking open some windows. Start ventilating it in there. Oh, that one was already open. Now we're just trashing the house. There you go. Let some of that out. Is he still working on this? Dude, how hard is it to get the supply or to get an attack line going? Alright, you got one it looks like. I guess I gotta do one for myself too. I gave him too much to do. Now he doesn't know what to do. All right, attack line, put the nozzle, put this on. All right, let's go ahead and, come on, number three, follow me. I'm with you, boss. Yep, Take just follow me. We're going to go look for this uh, fuse box. Whoa, I bumped my mouse while I was scratching my head there. All right, number three, you're in there helping him out. I'm in here with number two helping him out. Trying to get the last little bit of this fire out. All right, this is out. That's a breaching tool needed, so we're not going to do that one. And let that room keep raging on. We're going to go help out over here. Still looking for a fuse box. I wonder if I can knock this wall down with the water. I'm gonna knock a clock down. Nope, I guess not. Okay. They're working in there. I'm gonna look. Oh, I need my breaching tool. There's just too much going on here. I'm gonna leave my uh, my attack line there for the time being. 
And I think I left my breaching tool right out here somewhere. There's a fire extinguisher in case we need it. Yep, let's grab the crowbar. Alright, they're continuing to work in here. Alright, this room is good. Yep, this room's good. Still looking for that fuse panel. Um, kind of hoping we were getting in here. Okay, they're getting in here, though. I still don't see a fuse box. Alright, cool. There's no fire in here. And there's no fuse box in there. The fuse box must be... It must be over here somewhere. It must be in this one room. I'm gonna drop this real quick. Check it one last time. Actually, yeah, I could use the fuse or the uh, breaching tool there. See what's in here real quick. Okay, yeah, same room. So we're gonna drop this. Don't need it. I'm gonna help put out these fires. Where did I leave that? There it is. Discovered a fuse box. Okay, cool. They found the fuse box. Woo, it's hot in there. Yep, let's get the fire out so we can get the fuse box. Oh, I think they already... Okay, they already... Already got rid of the fuse box. Uh, we need a breaching tool for here. They're fighting the fire at that other room that the uh, door's already open. That I closed. And while they're doing that, I'm going to work on the one in here. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Alright, here we go. I know I'm by myself and it's probably going to take a lot of work to fight this one, but... We're going at it. Hey, I'm burning again. I'm burning over here. Okay, this is a whole lot of room to try to tackle by myself. I might have messed up trying to do this. Yep, I messed up trying to do it. Closing the door. We'll revisit that one in a bit. <laughs> Gotta attack it as a team and that is definitely not gonna work there. Look at all these fire hoses, jeez. Hey, I thought they came in this way. Apparently they didn't, so I'm hurting myself. I'm just going to give them another angle of attack. Yeah, I hear a dog, but I don't see the dog. All right, we good here? Yep, we're good here. All right, everybody on me. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. I've got your back, boss. Acknowledge. I'll follow you. Yep, we got a fire out here in the uh, front room. Alright, everybody stack up. I'm gonna open the door. There we go. I already started working in here. Oh, I'm getting pushed in. Okay. I got pushed into the room, but it's all good. Kind of just spraying all around too. I'm trying to get an idea of how big the room is. Okay, they're working this way, so I'm gonna work this way instead. Try to help them out. Trying to save some clothes right now. It looks like in this bed. All right, we almost got this corner of the room done. There we go. Okay, this corner's done. Now we're just making our way here. Oh, we finished. All right. Cool. Easy peasy. Eh, not really, but yeah, it worked out. All right. Cool. So I'm not sure if I got fast on that one or not. I don't think I did for dri Oh, I did for driving even after I hit the truck. And I did for the mission. Nice. There we go. And I leveled up. And I got to out of the frying pan 
into the fire. So that, I believe, is the last mission I have, which is right here. And, of course, it's going to be a big one. So this is going to probably be a little bit of a longer episode for you guys. But, um, hey, that's a great way for a finale anyways until a uh, update comes out for this game. So let's go ahead and we're just waiting for it to load in right now. Hopefully we're nearby. Like that last one. That last one, we weren't too far out. We were only like 1,500 meters, which is good compared to some of the smaller ones I went to that were like 11,000 meters. <laughs> All right, 4,000. That's not too bad. All right, we got our lights on for safety. We got the... Oh, we got another truck here. We got three trucks responding. Yep, of course. We were celebrating Joe's birthday, and there's a fire. So we're 4,100 meters out from this last mission here, this fire. It's 1,000 XP, so it's going to probably be a little bit of a longer one to do. And there's three trucks responding, so I have this feeling it is going to be kind of a longer one. So we're in the east tunnel right now, heading to it. It's in the same neighborhood that we were just in for the last call out, too. There you go. People are parting the sea to let me through. Waiting for dispatch to hopefully relay some more details to us. I didn't really see what it was. It looked like, based on the map, it looked like it was a business, but it could be a house based on where it's at. Because it is in that neighborhood. But for 1,000 XP, that's probably going to be a business, not a uh, house. Unless it's a pretty big house. So we're at 2,900 meters right now to uh, get there, and we've lost our other two trucks. Ain't nobody else coming right now. <laughs> so I just kind of got our own clear lane here. I wish the guys on the in the lane you were in would try to get over to the other lane. Like, if I'm in the left lane, they would all push to the right lane. Be a little bit easier that way than having to split them all the time like what I do. Alright, so possibly four or five people are trapped inside, and it's a warehouse is what we're finding out right now as we're responding. So, we're going to be coming into it. It seems like it's going to be a pretty scary situation if there's four or five people. We're going to be doing a lot of search and rescue, that's for sure. And it sounds like the entire first floor is lit up in flames, so it might be a little hard to get to some people. Great. So now we have possibly six people or more in this building. So it could even be more because they said potentially. And this fire sprinkler system has failed right now. So we're going to have to vent the smoke to the roof. Meaning that I'm probably going to have to get my saw out and I'm going to have to start doing that first before I even start working on search and rescue. Just so we can see in there. Yeah, this is definitely it. It's... Looking pretty bad over here. Let's see. Alright, somehow the other two trucks passed us and got here before us, but you know, it is what it is. And then that's where we're parking is right here. Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Okay. So we need to take care of electrical fires too. All right, he's doing a 360 check. I gotta go vent the. On a 360 check, there are locked doors to the office and to the warehouse area. All right, there's locked doors. I gotta get my saw out. I'm assuming, anyways, for the roof. The attack line is ready to go, boss. All right, cool. He got the attack line going. 360 check. There are several locked doors in the back of the warehouse. All right, here we go. First one's up. Let's start venting the roof. Alright, we're going up here. They got the supply line going. On a 360 check, there's an open 
loading door at the rear of the structure. On the three seat, check. There are locked double doors at the front of the building. A lot of locked building or locked doors, so working on it. This must be the second shift crew in here or something. There's a there's six people in here. Still working on the venting. This one looks like it's working already. Alright, vent manually is done. We gotta turn off the electricity to the building. Oh, I gotta get back down here. I don't think I'll need the saw anymore, so I'm gonna just bring it down with me just in case I do. But then I'm gonna drop it and grab my uh, prying tool here. Alright, one's got his attack line going. This needs a breaching tool. Yep. Uh, number... Th yes, nope, number three. Yep. Uh, get your attack line going. All right, let me get this. All right, we're going to break into the office first. There we go. All right. Uh, nobody's in here. I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. All right, I'm leading the way. Uh, I'm going to go in here. Hopefully, it's like the other warehouse, and then this is where the electrical box is at. Whoa! We need you to get up on the roof yep. Open up those vents. Let's turn off the electricity. Number two, you're in here. Number three, number one, you guys are in here too. There's a fire going right next to a victim. All right, so they're getting him right now. I'm gonna continue back here, see what else I can see. Um, now we got an open door here. Fire department. I got another victim here. I'm gonna grab him and get him outside, anyways. Alright. Just hang on, sir. We're gonna get you out of here. Alright, so I got the electrical box. I'm looking for any more victims. Okay, he got the victim. Let me tell him to let me direct him to this one. Oh, where am I going? This is the way, right? Yep. Alright, go ahead and get that one. I need a yeah, there we go. There's a stairway. It looks like there might be more people upstairs, so I'm going that way right now. Whoops. Let's get some more air in here. Get some vents going here so we can see. Damn, it is smoky as hell up here. You cannot see at all. At least in that section. Okay. Got another victim here. Number three, you're up. You're going for this one. I'll get some uh, more window breaks going on here. Number one, this is you. Everybody's on search and rescue right now. I'm going to check over here. Okay, yeah, they're going to come get him. I cannot see a thing. Jeez, it's bad. I could be walking right into the fire right now and have no idea. Like, look at this. Look at this. Holy hell. Yeah, I'm not going that way. I gotta go back. Alright, cool. Victim safe. Go ahead and get your attack line going. Jeez, alright. Get some more doors open in here. Whoops. I right, got that open. Nobody over here. The electricity's out. Uh, number two, you're up there, dude. Go ahead, get it going. Number three, get you an attack line going. The one that you had. Number one, get your... Oh. Okay. Alright, number two's working right now. He's getting his attack line. Number three, you're here. I'm gonna keep venting this room as much as I can. It's hard to see. There we go. Alright, and then I'm gonna grab a fire extinguisher just because there might be some sort of 
a non-standard fire here that I'm gonna need to put out. I've got your back, boss. Appreciate it. Nothing here. I'm looking for any kind of change in flame colors here. Ain't seeing it though. Okay. Hey, I'm burning. hitting what I can just to kind of knock it down a bit while, while I'm carrying this thing. Okay. Number one, you're with them. Alright, I'm dropping this. I'm going to head out. I'm going to start getting my attack line going here too. Let's see. Attack line. Move the cap. We know this dog and pony show. There we go. All right, so my guys are in there working on the fires right now. I'm on my way too with my uh, attack line. You see, we got all the vents open, so the smoke is ventilating out of there as best I can, anyways. So they want us to reduce smoke generation, so we need to find wherever that spraying is coming from because it's probably sucking up the flames too. Help out over here. Yep, teamwork makes a dream work, buddy. Let's do it. I'm just hitting whatever I can from this angle and hope the other two guys can uh, get them too. So it looks like a uh, shelf or something fell over here. I don't know if that was the cause of the fire or if that's just from the fire and it finally caved out, but working on this too. Alright, there we go. We got that out. Alright, he's continuing to work over here. I'm going to help out the other guys. Because, yeah, they're walking down here where it's pretty thick. Let's see if I can get this out. And then I'm going to try to find a stairway to get me up there so I can start hitting it from above. Oh, man, this is bad. Yeah, look at all of this. All this product is gone. Man, this is, yeah, this is pretty bad fire. And you gotta admit, I was moving pretty quick here, getting people rescued, getting people set up and in position, and getting the electricity turned off and venting the fire. Like, I did a lot of that really quickly, and it still is pretty bad. Alright, so we're getting the rest of this taken care of on the lower part here. And I'm hoping my guys are getting the upper part, or at least that side of it. I don't need the fire to jump too much here. Looks like it already has, though. Let's get the part that jumped. And there's my stairway, too. All right, the jump part is gone. Go ahead and take care of this side. <coughs> I'm kind of working by myself. The other two guys are working together, and then uh, the third guy is kind of working by himself too, but he's also uh, just keeping the fire at bay from spreading, which is kind of what I'm doing too in a way. I'm trying to keep it from spreading to that other line again, or that other uh, stack of product. So I'm trying to, trying to manage all of this at once. Alright, we're doing a little bit better now. We're just starting to get this put out too. Making our way down. Just slowly hosing it. Yeah, this does not have any flue spacing at all. This would 
fail fire inspection if this was an IRL warehouse. From what I know of uh, what we've had to do at my own work. There we go. Alright, so that side of it's out. I'm slowly making my way around this corner. I, if there's something on the other side, I'm going to be screwed as far as the fire goes. I'm just hoping it's on this side only. Here we go. Alright, we're making some headway here. We're starting to get to the uh, last little bit here to get this out. So the bottom is starting to flare up again, and that's to be expected. I was just strafing across, taking care of it, trying to loosen some of the fuel from it, from the fire, which it started to spread there, but it just wasn't as bad. I was able to catch it again in time, so it was easy to put out and make some headway. So we're about to get this entire stack of product almost put out, other than on the other side there. They're still working down this way. Oh, this guy is working over here. Man, yeah, we're trying. There's a lot to get, get over here. I'm about to be the first one that has his uh, stack of product put out. Luckily, I haven't seen anything yet that requires a fire extinguisher, so we're pretty good in that regard. Um, I don't know if I can get that. That's kind of tall, and I can't get a good, like a good angle on it. A good angle on it. Unless I get it from here. Let me see if I get it from this corner. Okay, I can a little bit from this corner. There we go. Okay, I think I got the fire out on mine. Yeah, that looks like it's good. Um, that should reduce down some of the smokage. If I can find a stairway to get up there to that top level. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. I wish I could spray water into the ventilation system there and it push or it kind of moisturize and clean up some of the smoke. Cause this stuff's thick. Look at this. You can tell this is definitely the last level for the game for the time being. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Alright, see, so I got a lot better angle on this now, so I can help them put it out from up here. Attacking it from above is always better. At least from what I can tell, anyways. They're gonna help out on this side, too. <coughs> Oh, that was weird. A little bit of glitchy action there. Like I'm seeing stars or something. That's interesting. Hope that actually isn't anything serious and it is just like a little bit of a technical glitch or something. Alright. Almost got this part of it suppressed. I'm hoping that the other guys will be over here to assist. Alright, I'm going to try to get this over here now. Let me see what I can help with from up here. I'm getting quite a bit of the fire. This is definitely the way to go, is to get up here above it. Probably not the safest way, but it's definitely the way that's getting it put out. And they're working down there on that side, and as I'm taking care of this side, it's taking care of, uh... It's taking care of, uh... It getting pushed back out to them, too. There we go. See? So that's all done. We just got this little bit, and this one's out. Alright, that's out. Can I get it through? Oh, I can get it through the venting. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to help out from here like this. I'm literally just spraying through the catwalk. Just like, yep, just make it rain on it. Rain on the fire. This would probably be really hot to be standing on IRL. Standing on some metal grating like this with flames under it. You're literally cooking like you're on a uh, stove top here, it looks like. I don't know how well you, this would go over for somebody. And granted, I'm sure firemen's boots and shoes and soles are all heat resistant and slip resistant, but still, this is this is quite a bit. <laughs> I'm literally just spraying wherever I see flames coming up at me. Hoping I get it. Okay, they're over here though. See if I can help them out from over here. Jeez, nope, that's that's way too dangerous. There is so much smoke, I can't even see. Look, I'm I'm crouched down right now, so you should be able to see more. I still can't see. There we go. My god, there's so much smoke over there. The ventilation system is just not cutting it. Alright, fast mission expired. I kind of expected that to happen. I wasn't expecting to complete this quick enough. These bigger ones like this are pretty tough for me if they're in a warehouse or not in a house where I can try to limit the doors and the spread of the fire. So let's see if I'm making any of a difference or an impact here by attacking it from this angle instead. And then they can thin it out on their side and it makes it easier for both of us because I'm putting out this side so it can't spread onto that side and then vice versa. So I'm just slowly making my way across here. Come on. There we go. Start putting this out. My goodness, this is bad. This is bad. Look at this. Oh, it's starting to flare up over here again. Get back over here on this side. Man, that flared up real quick. This is getting out of hand real quick over here. I need them to hurry up. Y'all need to hurry up and push the fire back more. Alright, I think I got that. Yeah, you guys need to hurry up. Oh, okay. You guys aren't really, really helping on that side. You're working on the other side. Now they're going to help me out because they see me over here. Of course. I'm just slowly making my way down. Yep, I think that fire's out. I'm going to let them work on this. While I'm backing out to check it, I'm just going to help them out. Oh, okay. Ventilation established. Cool, so that should uh, help us out. Unconscious victims on the catwalk. Oh, there's more people, holy hell, okay. We're gonna get to them too, we just need to finish getting the uh, fire out here. I'll break somebody off to uh, do that in just a second. I'm gonna try to get this fire out first. Luckily those people didn't get hurt. But yeah, there was so much smoke. Even the 360 check, you couldn't catch them up there. That's how bad it was. But we're starting to do good in regards to fighting the fire. Bunch all flyers. There we go. All right, let's go rescue some people. I'm on it. One, you're on me. I'll you. Two, you're on me. I'm all right, let's go. Three, you're on me too, just in case there's a third one. Looks like there's only two, but... Oh, there he is. Three, get that one. Wait, what are you doing? Three, get that one. Two, get that one. Yeah, it looks like we're good up here. We just gotta rescue the last two people. What are you doing? Dude, 
Go drop your hose and help somebody out. I'm on. Yeah, there you go. Do the same thing. Come and get this person. Yes, sir. Oh, never mind. You know what? You don't need to do it. Just follow me. I'll do it. It's the last mission. Maybe I should carry somebody out for the last mission. Well, me and number three are carrying people out. Number one and number two are with us just to be on the safe side. So yeah, looks like we got 21 minutes in on this uh, on this mission, this final mission. I'm I keep saying final mission, assuming it's the last one. It might not be. I don't know. Just from what you can see, that's locked and unlocked. It seems like it's the final one that I haven't done yet. Actually, let's keep our flashlight on just in case. Look at the fire hoses spread out everywhere. That's insane. <laughs> Just all over the place. Well, that looks like it might have been the cause of the fire. It's a forklift on its side. Alright, well, it looks like we have two different ways to get there, and he went the quicker way. Somebody left a pizza there. Cool, and I have the last victim. Gonna be okay, ma'am. We're gonna get you some help here. I know that was a lot of smoke in there. There we go. We are done. Yep, come on back, dude. We done. Everybody else's job now in there. There we go. All right, let's see how we did on this debrief. Uh, oh, we got two achievements. Cannot be stopped, pro lifesaver, spray, and quench. So we got fast on driving, medium on the mission time, and then we got our challenge bonus. We leveled up there. We are the max level now. And I think that's everything. I'm going to give it one last check here, but I'm pretty sure that's the last mission that I haven't done. Yep, looks like that's it. Well, uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Firefighter Simulator. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought about this episode as well as the series. Um, if there are expansions, DLCs that come out for this game, I will definitely be picking them up. I went into this game with some optimisms, thinking, just thinking, like, uh, just thinking, just thinking. <laughs> Uh, thinking that I was going to maybe enjoy it, but not play it all the way through and come to find out it was really fun and enjoyable. I'm really glad I, I picked this up and I'm really glad you guys recommended it to me because it was a lot of fun to play. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.